Hi guys, welcome back to another video of mine and today we'll be looking at yet another figure review. Um, recently I've been to Hong Kong and I've got like a couple of um, stuff from there and the price it's really really cheap. It's almost half the price um, for all the stuff that I got that would, I mean half of the price that I would have paid for if I'm in Malaysia. So yeah, that's, that's really crazy. I kind of regret that I did not exchange more money but nonetheless I still got I still kind of get the stuff that I wanted so yeah so for today's review the figure that I got is this sorrow figure so yeah you see this is only one sorrow figure I don't know what line is it called um, it should be usually this kind of box it will be the king of artists but anyway here is the Hong Kong dollar over here, it's 110. So yeah, basically at the front here, just how it looks like, Zoro here. And then at the side here is the completed figure. Once everything put together, you guys can see it looks really good. And then at the back here, this is the the guy who sculpted the thing. This the guy who sculpted Zoro. And then at the side here is the side of the box art. And on top here, of course, it's just one piece. At the bottom here of course is yet another one piece so yeah basically the box art looks really cool as you see one presto and then here is the crane king so yeah um hong kong 110 if you i'll just be divide by two or maybe um even less than that but i'll just round it up and divide by two it, it's only rm ringgit malaysia 55 so that's really cheap because if i were to get it already stock in malaysia this easily costs 80 ringgit so that and if i com convert it back to hong kong it would be 160 hong kong dollars so for 110 hong kong dollars it's really cheap so yeah so enough with that let's put this over here but now let's take a look at the completed figure so of course here we have the completed figure for zoro um then i'll fix i've already said fix it everything so i'll just tell you how many parts that it comes with one of course is this sword here this detachable sword and then after that of course is the top half of the body for zoro and then at, of course the bottom part here for zoro as well with, along with its katanas and then at the bottom here is the base and i would say surprisingly the base actually looks um looks very nice so yeah anyway let's do a very quick 360 rotation on how it looks like so of course here you can see the earrings of course the three earrings and then here is his latest edition after the time skip is the headband and then over here is his three katanas if i'm not mistaken the one that is being drawn this red color one i think this is the cursed sword that he got when they are at the i forgotten what's the long longo town where where um go the roger got executed so yeah this is known as his cursed sword so yeah basically the 360 rotation is done so this is how it looks like again looks very brilliant now we take a closer look into this zoro figure so of course this katana was drawn out first so we'll of course take a look first at the katana so as you guys can see there is lots of detail here as you can see it's sort of like an uneven um, chipping for the katana and i can tell you when it's not being shined on the light it looks rather dull but now it, when you shine when there's light shining on it just a little bit it looks kind of really shiny sort of uh, reflect not um, i would say a flat one a flat kind so yeah you guys can see the sword over here and then another side just like that so yeah maybe you guys want to see the blade over here let me just focus but yeah you guys can see here then let me just see here this full katana like that next we will of course move on to its head so of course this is how it's actually posed based on the box art so it can look like that it's basically covering covering his um, face but then actually here he's actually smirking ready to slash on pika so yeah not sure actually is it um, at the pika or is this at the fishman um, island the post but yeah nonetheless it still looks great as you can see Still very curious about his eye, his um, my his left eye. So yeah, you guys can see his earring over here. 
which he's been wearing since day one his character got introduced so yeah not very detailed but it's, it's there anyway you guys can see his hair here which Sanji call him moss hair I'm always doing my best to focus let's just hope it does yeah, let's just hope it does I'm sorry about my English so yeah basically how it looks like is just like that looks really good and next year you guys can see his body here um, I think he should look much more um, bigger because he can't, this his body sculpt here makes him look kind of skinny if it makes sense because he's actually really um, buff so yeah maybe I hope they will rectify this in the future and then you guys can see his old sort of like the belt inside there then this is like his one over belt one over maybe the whole thing and then here I guess I'll just show you guys his katanas so of course he has Santoryu so three katanas over here first you have the white then you have this and then you have the red color so yeah each of which you can't draw out that's kind of disappointing but yeah still does it and then you guys can actually see here mm, yeah here you guys can see actually the string which is connected to the sword so I like I like the fact that they actually did not neglect it maybe you know cause it's all bind together maybe they don't need to show but they actually show it here so yeah it's really good so yeah next of course the belt that is holding on all the katanas all together as you see it's a red color belt here so yeah and then next here is the hand I mean it's here his thing here that it's um, basically pushing in so another thing good to see and then maybe the shoe here surprisingly I know shoes usually don't really have much detail but surprisingly actually have lots of detail the black color as I really like this black color painting so I'm really happy about it so yeah I guess you can see like sort of like um, crumper kind of thing when he's trying to strike his pose so yeah here's the other leg over here let's see if I can focus it so yeah and then there's one thing I'm not sure you guys are interested in uh, see inside here oops you know usually um, figures that don't really bother about inside since the front here are covered but surprisingly enough they actually um, show it so yeah it's just this it's just this kind of small detail that makes me really happy yeah <laughs> I'm not sure why but yeah it just makes me happy so yeah I guess you can see his this this sort of like his old pants when he's he when he was just wearing um, the white color shirt and then his black color pants but then now he's he's, man, he's maintained his black color pants and he maintained his um, belt over here and then where along he wear across this um, new sort of his attire so yeah so anyway uh, when this figure was announced I actually was planning to get it already in Malaysia but then I since I got it in Hong Kong then yeah just I just straight away just buy it and this figure actually looks very very big and I'm really I'm, I'm really happy for it because it's a really good figure like, based on everything it looks like so yeah if you guys want to if you guys really love Zoro I recommend you guys get it but one thing I would just say is his body maybe a little bit too um, like I say a little bit too skinny I don't think he's that ripped I think he's more on the buff side so yeah this figure make him looks kind of ripped and yeah just that so yeah that's it today for this um, Zoro figure review so if you guys do have enjoyed this review I would say a rather quick one don't forget to drop a like down below and of course is as always if you are new around here please don't forget to subscribe to me as there will be more figure reviews like this coming out very soon or maybe in the future and of course Gunpla reviews and unboxings coming out very soon as well so yeah I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys soon in another video.